Hello everybody, Luke Peterkin here. Welcome back to the TaylorMade Performance Lab here at Wentworth. Here we have fitting number two. You may remember from last time we had two back-to-back -back driver fittings. Afterwards, we reviewed fitting number one and we saw a nice improvement in distance gained with the new TaylorMade M1 driver. 10 yards extra for that single-figure golfer. If you thought that was good, wait until you see this review here. This one is even better. So on the screen right now, we can see a selection of shots with fitting number two's Gamer driver. It's a Ping G30, 10 and a half degree. He has been fitted for it and he has been happy with its performance over the last year or so. Uh, one thing to note with this fitting is that he very much was keen on keeping his accuracy with his driving. That was very much the top of his priorities. Uh, even if it meant losing a bit of yardage, he wanted to hit fairway. So that's something we needed to keep in mind. On the right hand side here you can see his trajectory is very consistent, very predictable which is great and then compared to the middle of the fairway here, the centre line, he's looking pretty good too. Numbers wise, again pretty solid. Let's validate that with the optimizer chart next. So on this screen here, again everything's looking pretty good. So everything's virtually within the blue zones there which is super. The only thing that isn't is that spin rate, it's just a little bit high, just over 3200 here. It is costing him a little bit of yardage, but like we said, he didn't mind that so much if it meant he could hit fairways. I merely proposed if we can get the best of both worlds by reducing that spin rate, surely that's a better place to be. So I built him an M1 driver, very similar specification to the shaft. Uh, it's just a nine and a half degree club head instead of a 10.5 to see if we could reduce that spin. Let's go to the performance of the M1 straight away. Notice the spin rate now has fallen within our blue optimum zone, which is great. And in terms of the number there, just over 2,500. Big difference in spin rate there, just over 3,200 with this gamer. So I'm confident that partly that will partly be down to the degree of loft difference, one degree, but it will also be down to that composite technology in the M1 club head. Nice and lightweight crown, all the weight is low and forward inside the club head, and that will help contribute to a lower spin rate, which is what we're seeing here. So it is unlocking more yardage, almost 20 yards there. 281 total instead of 264, so a very nice increase. Notice as well, like we saw last time, we're seeing a nice increase in both club head speed and ball speed. Again, that will partly be down to the aerodynamics of the M1 club head um, and ball speed again to the technology that's going on inside the club head. Five miles an hour, that's always going to help keep those yardages up. So an increase in ball speed is always welcome. But like we said, we've got the distance now. We just needed to keep the accuracy. Let's go to this next screen here. To make sure we've kept the accuracy, notice the width of the circles here compared to the center line. Virtually the same, so we have maintained that accuracy. You can see from the top as well, the trajectories are very similar too. So we've kept the accuracy, we've just moved those yardages almost 20 yards further up, which is a really nice place to be. So I hope that's given you a nice little insight into the M1 driver here. We're seeing a nice increase so far in total distance gained. Best thing to do from here, see if you can get to your nearest performance lab or your nearest fitting center. Get an M1 driver in your hands. If you can get onto something like TrackMan, then that's great because you can measure your performance to this level of detail and then compare that M1 to your gamer. And then hopefully you'll see the increase that these guys are seeing already. Okay, I hope that's helped. That's all from me. Until next time, thank you very much.